What's up everybody, Horse here, and uh, welcome to another vlog type reaction video. Uh, this is my friend Destiny, and uh, we're going to be reacting to some of her writing that she did, so uh, let's go to that. Go ahead. I can I can see it in her eyes, the beautiful blue look, like beautiful blue color like you're swimming in a river. Her glance steals you away from everything you're doing. She is so entrancing. She draws you in with just one story. You can tell she put a lot behind her from her past, but she doesn't let it define who she is today. Her hair is like a dirty blonde, like wet sand on the beach. Her smile isn't perfect, but welcomes anyone and everyone who meets her. Her laugh is like a less of a sinister cackle. As she sits in a large group of people who claim that they will always be there for her, but only few will. She tries not to let the monsters define who she is. Some things are harder to keep out. She is still trying to figure out who she is. Friends coming and going like the seasons. They leave her hurt and then come back for forgiveness. She never judges others because she knows the pain and hurt that comes with the judgment herself. She is happy. She thinks deeper than most and she has a talent that brings some to tears. She shows the crowd the hurt and the pain that comes from her writing. She will become something great. She will show she will be the beacon to lead those who choose to follow her out into the light, somewhere greater than the hurt and sadness that they feel, greater than life somewhere into the next. She wants to prove to those who doubted her that they are wrong, to change others' life, to change others' life and show them the safer way out. If you feel that you are in a dark place, follow me and I will show you the way out into the from the dark and into the light, into something greater than life itself. So that was the first one. I really, I really did like that one. Thank you. Yeah, because it, the writing like shows like meaning that actually people can relate to. So. Actually, yeah, like a lot of people like my writing. I actually made a few people cry. Yeah. It, the one made me cry the other day. The this one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. All right. So All right. here's the other one. I look into the distance and I see a depressed girl crying for someone to take her away from all the hurt that they have caused her. I see her crying in the corner, begging for it all to just end. She had no one there for her when she needed a shoulder to cry on, no family nor friends, and no one to love her. I walk over to her and I sit down. The strong smell of alcohol and body over overpowers the smell around me. I slowly sit as I see her huddle into a tighter ball, confining herself into self-wallow. I, I gently remove her arms from her face. The scuff marks of she has scuff marks above her lips and on her cheeks. She's beautiful. Her face is round with freckles. Her skin is a mix of rosy and tan. Um, do you not? You, I know you see me doing a vlog here. Shut up. Um. Rosy and tan. Her lips curved perfectly. They curve up on the side. Her eyes are so blue you want to jump in them like a river and swim. Her hair looks as if it was winter snow that cars had been driving on. Her body was thin. It looked like she hadn't eaten in months. She was I was surprised that she didn't blow away. Why was she so sad? I look, I look at her, help her up. She had been lying on the side of that abandoned building for just a little over a month. She didn't look over the age of 15. As I look deeper into her never ending, into her, I see the never ending line of hate, pain, and exhaustion. I couldn't, she couldn't do it anymore. As I, she stepped into the light, I see her eyes with dark circles. I glance down at her purplish arm. I see cuts at least one and a half inches deep. I look at her. What has she been through? I take her to my place, let her get a shower, and give her some food. She was like a savage. She ate every crumb and took the plate clean. I asked if she wanted more, and she shook her head, so I gave her some. I don't mind how much she ate. I was happy to see her enjoying her food. I gave her the best bedroom, the guest bedroom, and a pair of pajamas. As I laid her down, I assured her that everything would be okay. As I saw her in the bed, she looked at me. Morning came, and I went to wake her up and noticed that she wasn't breathing. I, what I didn't know was that she had a heart condition. She had only less than a month to live. Her boyfriend couldn't handle the fact that she was going to die and kicked her out. She slept out in the cold and cried because and cried to die because she wanted to be taken away. She didn't want to be in pain anymore. That the writing again, it's really sad, but like it's good to cry every now and then. I'll have to get you some more. Yeah. I got plenty of them. Yeah. Alright, well thank you for sharing.
sharing them You're with welcome. us. All right. All right, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye.